Thanks for tuning in, guys. Watching all the videos. Here we get into this six-inch LED slash fog light slash spot beams. Let's get into it. Swag, bitch. Now, what we have here is a six-inch LED pod light. Now, these are understood to be the spots. These are understood to be the bloods, which, from the last two videos that you guys were here for, you saw them as both. You saw them as the LED floodlights, and you saw them as the LED pod lights. Now, depending on these two are like combined to the both, apparently, something, whatever, they're 800 watt, they're six inches wide, so why not? Why not get them? I mean, hey, if they work for you, they work. And if they don't, they don't. So, you know, I mean, you either got to be with it or you can't be with it. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you guys how bright these are. And then eventually I'll be showing you how to wire them up into a 2004 Dodge Dakota. So stay tuned. But here, let's get into the shining brightness of these lamps. So as you can see here, guys, I am in the total darkness of night. It's not very quiet, it's not very loud, not very anything else. Alright, let's get our battery here. Let's make sure we have our positives and negatives. Because we don't want to mix that up. Alrighty. As we can see here, they are really bright. They light up the place like it's never before. So, I mean, they're decent. But we'll find out if they do what I need them to do eventually. But they have more of a wide range like the fog lights I reviewed. And then the spot in the middle, right on top of the, the side of the Don't Tread on Me flag. That's a lot light intense right there, but a lot of it's shining around the outside, but it has only a wide range view. And this is like maybe like two or three feet in front of you. So as you can see, as I go down and I go up, you can see how far the light is being projected off of the LED itself. So that is what I have so far. <clears throat> now, as in we just saw, the lights were bright. My appearance was great. My talking ability, still not as great. <laughs> but now, so basically, we have the floods in the middle. You have the spots all around. And basically what happens is, the floodlights give you a wide range. The spots, they give you a point direction. Why I needed six inches once? Why not? I mean, you could angle them depending on which way. And the way they have the brackets set up, see it, you can direction them any any which way you want. So it could be straight, it could be tilted, it could be up, it could be down. So it's not saying that they're worth it, but depending on what you're doing and what you have, these would be like a nice like side light on your truck. Like, say you're working on your base truck, pull your truck up. A bunch of light. Um, say you're splitting wood at night, or you're just having a bonfire. Lose some. Click. Flip a switch. There's your lights. Or some whistling diesel shit, where he has like seven or eight light bars in a fucking circle, going woo 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 woo. But now, I like these LEDs. I am personally thinking about putting these on my truck. Second. Because right now I have the LED 4-inch pod lights. Now, I haven't installed them yet, but I will. Which, stay tuned for the video. It will be up there eventually, and we will, I will make sure it gets shown. So, but anyway, these are nice. These are very 2-in-1 deal, if you don't mind me saying that. So you get a flood in a spot. It's a nice handheld. If you need to take it off your truck, you can have like a long cord, wrap it up in a circle, and 
<laughs> but yeah. So that is my honest opinion of them. When I put these on my truck, trust me, I will be posting a video of how they hold up or how long they've been on my truck for, and I'll be going over much more. But for right now, they are bright, I like them, they're flood, and they're also wide. But you can take this determination of what you want to do, whether you're putting them on a Jeep, SUV, Nissan, Honda, whatever, your quad, mini bike, go-kart, whatever you decide to do with them. I hope you got a good review. I hope you got a good idea in mind to go out and do it. Do your project. Have a great time doing it. And enjoy it. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in this today. I hope you have a wonderful, lovely day. Like and subscribe if you would like. Um, and just keep being you. Have a great and wonderful day. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.